Welcome back guys. In this tutorial, we will see about the range slider in detail, before going into the video, hit like and subscribe to our channel now. First let me have the body and center widget to have the slider in the center. Use range slider widget to have the slider. Here, you can see that it take two parameters, unchanged and values. Before declaring them, we need a minimum and maximum value for a slider. Next we need the values parameter, let me have everything as a variable, so that it would be easy. Let me declare, the minimum value as L value, and maximum as U value, representing lower and upper value. Let me replace this with the variables. Done, next, the values here will take a range of values, from minimum value to the maximum value. Use range values, and declare the range for the values. Here, you can see it takes the start and the end value, let me pass 0 and 100. In this values, let me use the values for which we have declared the range. Let me save this now. Ok, we got the slider as we have seen in many online shopping application, we need unchanged function, to move the slider. Within the range slider, let me declare the unchanged function. Here, we need to pass the value of the slider, when changed. Within this let me use setState function. When the slider thumb is moved, the range value should be changed, for this within the setState function, the range values should be assigned to the new value. Let me save this now. So, now we can move the slider thumb. After moving, this should be the range, right? Now, let me print it for your better understanding. Let me have the thumb in its initial position. Here, you can see the current value, of the slider. Let me, move this and check the new value. Yes, this is the current range. Next, let's see how to have the range values, above the slider. Before this let me use divisions, so, this division, divides the slider into equal number of parts, here let me have the division as 10. Here, you can see the dots, pointing the intervals on the slider. Use labels, to have the range values above the slider. The range labels, within the labels takes the start and the end value, as we have already declared the range values, let me use the start and the end value of the range as string. So, here you can see the values above the range thumbs. This is the default color of the slider. Let me show how to change the color now. Range slider has two color properties, the active and the inactive color, the active color determines color between the range thumbs, and the inactive color is for the region, outside the range. Here, you can see the active and inactive color region. Next, let's see how to customize the whole range slider. For this wrap the range slider with the slider theme. The slider theme, needs a data, that is slider theme data. Within slider theme date we can customize the whole slider, first let me show you how to change the height of the slider. 
here, you can see the slider height got increased. If we are using, slider theme, then we don't need the active and the inactive color. We can also change the color of the thumb here. Next, let's see how to change the label color and style. To change the label properties, use value indicator style and color. Here, you can see that the label color is changed to teal. You can also change the font size and weight too. So, the font size within the label is increased. The next property is the overlay color, you can see this color around the thumb, when clicked. This is the overlay color. Next, we have a minimum thumb separation property, this determines the minimum space between the thumb and pixels. Before saving this, we can keep the thumb, one over the other. Now, the thumbs maintain the minimum separation distance between them. Until now, we have seen about the range slider, which can be adjusted from both sides, next let's see how to have single side slider, like the brightness controller in our device. For this, simply use slider not range slider. A slider should have label and value in singular. Everything is perfect except the label and the value. Range values cannot be used in slider, it needs only a single variable, let me name it as count. The label within the slider, takes the count value. Let me pass it as a string value. The values also takes the count variable. When the slider is moved, the count takes the new value. Everything is ok, let me save this now. Let me remove the division, to look similar as a brightness controller. That's all about the range slider, there are many options within the slider theme, just try them all, hit like and subscribe to our channel.